What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MULN stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. And I will show you how we caught this movement to the upside and then I predicted the movement to the downside as usual. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you the major news that are directly related to Malin delisting from Nasdaq stock exchange. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this very point, uh, somewhere at uh, the price point of roughly 63 cents. And I've told you that we hit uh, our first target, but we didn't hit second one, this previous swing high. And uh, the potential profits uh, was about 27%. And uh, at this point, I've told you that most likely we should retest and even break uh, this range of support. And it is the lowest price point. And I have to say that we can adjust this uh, tool a little bit. And for now, it is uh, much more accurate. And uh, as you can see right here, we are retesting this uh, very range again. And most likely we will break it to the downside. So I have to say that I still stand on my position that this is a fraudulent company. And don't get me wrong, guys, I can show you some setups uh, and basically we caught uh, some movements to the upside uh, for those of you who were interested in these type of movements. And we gained uh, some uh, profits, uh, not uh, so huge compared to other meme stocks, but still we caught uh, these movements and we have uh, decent results. And I also have to say that I don't have any relationships with uh, short sellers with any i don't have any position on malin at all i just want to preserve your capital because this is the fraudulent company and you should avoid this company in any cases so what was the reason of uh, this movement to the downside i have to say that uh, among all the reasons so we have a major reason that uh, uh, basically as you can see we have a bloodbath on the entire market and the entire s p 500 index is deeply in red because of uh, the 8.3 percent of uh, inflation in august 2022 definitely it was a major major negative catalyst for entire market and that's why we have uh, this movement to the downside for mali as well on top of that let me show you their recent news uh, on September the 9th, they posted uh, several news. One of them, uh, Malin Automotive response to shareholders regarding majority acquisition of Bollinger Motors. And uh, another two news uh, directly related to Bollinger uh, acquisition. And uh, I have to say that um, <laughs> in general, one company without uh, money bought another company that are basically broke. And uh, definitely <laughs> it is not uh, the best choice uh, for the Mullins uh, shareholders. And uh, I will prove you in a minute why I think so. So definitely the major news that I want to pay your attention to is this one. As I mentioned in one of my previous video, the video before my previous video, uh, Mullin will be delisted, uh, probably will be delisted uh, because of the Nasdaq listing rules. And let me show you this. On September the 7th, Mullin Automotive uh, received a letter from the uh, listing qualifications of the Nasdaq stock market LLC indicating that the bid price of the company's common stock per value of 0.001 per share had closed below $1 per share for 30 consecutive business days. And as a result, the company is not compliant uh, with Nasdaq listing rule 5550A2, which sets Fourth, the minimum bid price requirement for continued listing on the Nasdaq capital market. Nasdaq notice uh, has no immediate effect on the listing of the company's ordinary shares on Nasdaq. And uh, I've told you uh, on uh, the video before my previous video that uh, this will happen because uh, Marlin is uh, trading below $1 mark. And let me show you this video. I was, uh, it was published uh, on uh, September the 4th. And uh, as you can see uh, right here, I predicted this movement to the upside and you can watch all of my previous video. But I want to pay your attention on the comment section. And uh, let me show you some details. Marlin stock is going to skyrocket. I buy shares every Friday's uh, paycheck. Marlin's proved itself countless times that it's not a fraudulent company. And uh, definitely this person will lose their money. And let me show you a couple of more interesting uh, comments. Uh, the news guy 
uh, road. If you don't like the company, uh, then you should stop uh, covering and stop wasting your time. You only show the negative news articles and Hinderburg is a known short seller, so you should not uh, believe anything they say. I also think you are being paid to bash stocks like those who write those articles you are basing yourself on. I will continue to give your thumbs down on every video you make because you are being uh, dishonest and because this type of video is not nice entertainment to watch. Definitely it is your opinion, but you will lose your money. And the most important, uh, let me show you somewhere here, it was the most important... Uh, wait a second... So, this, uh, this comment is the most important in my opinion. I support the freedom of speech. Let's make uh, a bet uh, if Malen is not delisting. You go stream online for an apology to the public. There is a difference between BS and the freedom of speech. A man should take responsibility for their words, not just saying. Malin does have red flags, uh, no denied, no hype. But have you considered this? The trucking company might want to use tech to drink water from the air. If uh, it has uh, no problem with the car, there is no problem for the truck. More than 500 miles drive daily. They would love to drink water from the dashboard. You can hate this company, doubt it, no problem. I don't think Malin is just uh, for POV. With this tech, it probably has the ability to compete in the trucking industry. And definitely, as you can see, my words uh, was proven by this statement and uh, the SEC statement is the most important document that we have right now for this company. And uh, my main goal is to preserve uh, the capital of uh, new investors because uh, this asset still has some support uh, from, as you can see, from most active section. It is uh, on the uh, 10th place uh, in stocktweets.com uh, website. This means a lot of people who want to invest their money uh, might pay their attention on this uh, stock and uh, if they invest uh, in this uh, asset, definitely they will lose uh, their money. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next, next from the price action? Definitely I'm more bearish as usual on uh, the bigger scale on this company. And let me show you that uh, uh, we are approaching the very bottom of this price action that this asset ever had. This means uh, if you have any position with this asset, you are deeply in red. And I started to enter to uh, basically cover this stock somewhere at these tops. And uh, for those of you who entered your position uh, at the price points of roughly $3, you might be down for more than 82%. And depending on your entry price, and I suggested for multiple times that you shouldn't invest in this asset, but we caught some lucrative trades, uh, several lucrative, lucrative trades uh, with this asset. And I've told you that uh, we will uh, continue to do so. We will continue to uh, enter our position uh, for the short term in order to make some short term gains. But you shouldn't uh, enter your position for the long term with this asset because it is a fraudulent company. So. Uh, what should we expect next? Definitely this range will be broken and uh, with uh, this uh, breakout we will have uh, no bottom uh, for this stock. And this means uh, from the fundamental standpoint uh, David Mishuri will uh, try to make uh, a reverse stock split in order to uh, stay in line with the Nasdaq rules. And uh, this uh, announcement will happen in the next uh, couple of, uh, from couple of weeks to couple of months. And definitely this also be a negative catalyst uh, for the company. And uh, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up